Day, September the 1st, in 1939, Hitler ordered the extermination of the mentally ill through the T4 euthanasia program. Hitler was a socialist, as he himself said in his Labour's Day speech of May 1st, 1927. We are socialists, we are enemies of today's capitalistic economic system, and we are all determined to destroy this system under all conditions. And his eugenics were rooted in his socialism. In January 1849, Marx published an article by Engels announcing that in Central Europe only Germans, Hungarians and Poles counted as bearers of progress. The chief mission of all other races and peoples, large and small, is to perish in the revolutionary holocaust. Engels dismissed them as ethnic trash and called for their extinction. Marx himself said that the present generation must perish in order to make room for the people who are fit for a new world. Nazi propaganda associated the Jews with images of vermin, parasites or infectious disease. The Soviet regime referred to those it wished to destroy as vermin, pollution and as poisonous weeds needing to be uprooted. As Stephanie Courtois points out, in communism there exists a socio-political eugenics, a form of social Darwinism. As master of the knowledge of the evolution of social species, Lenin decided who should disappear by virtue of having been condemned to the dustbin of history. Similar to Hitler's Nazi Germany, Lenin's Soviet Union created entire categories of parasites to be ultimately destroyed. According to Vladimir Tismaneanu, the persecution and extermination of the Jews was as much a consequence of ideological tenets held sacred by the Nazi zealots as the destruction of the Kulaks during the Stalinist collectivization campaigns. Millions of human lives were destroyed as a result of the conviction that the sorry state of mankind could be corrected if only the ideologically designated vermin were eliminated. This ideological drive to purify humanity was rooted in the scientific cult of technology and the firm belief that history, always capitalised, had endowed the revolutionary elites with the mission to get rid of the superfluous populations. And from 1905 to 1930, eugenics had been in its period of greatest influence. It was from America that Hitler drew inspiration. President Woodrow Wilson signed New Jersey's sterilization law, and one of his deputies became a Nazi collaborator at Buchenwald. Bertrand Russell and many other leftist English intellectuals also spoke in favour of it, and Margaret Sanger wanted to reduce the black population and shared Hitler's view that Jews were genetically inferior. Mandatory sterilization laws were passed in 34 states from the mid-1920s to mid-1930s. 